Click to open Mango AM. You can see it provides many templates. There are three ways to create a project. The first is to create a new project. The second is to import a PPT. And the third is to open a project or template to edit. I will show you the first way. The upper left corner is the scene thumbnail area. The middle is the screen editing area, which can present the screen content. The right side is the element editing bar, which can add images, roles, text, shapes, music, etc. The bottom is the timeline area for controlling the elements and animation effects. Now, let's start to make animations by adding images. Choose the image in the folder. Click the third button in the element selection SID bar. Adjust the size of the element in the canvas and make it tile the entire scene. Then double click the entry slider of the image in the timeline and set the animation effect to none. Proceed to import an image from the computer. Click the third button to adjust the element to the window size and place it in the appropriate position. Set the animation effect to fade in left. Then adjust the position of the slider. Repeat the above operation. Add an image and adjust its position in the canvas. Double click the entry slider of the element in the timeline and set it to fade and right. Adjust the slider position for each image. Find the green plus sign, click to add a middle animation. And you can see that there are many options for you. Search the middle animation and set it to eyeball scaling. After adding it, drag the length of the slider to 6 seconds. Right click to copy the effect and right click to paste the effect to another element. Continue to add an element by importing an image. Adjust it to the size of the window and place it where you think it fits. Double click the element slider in the timeline and set the effect to fade in up. Drag the slider to the appropriate position. Repeat the above operation and choose another element image in the folder. Adjust the image size and its position to coordinate with other elements. Drag the slider position of the element. Preview the whole effect and constantly adjust it to the best position. Now, it's time to add text to enrich the animation content. You can prepare the text in advance. Click text to add text content. Copy and paste your text directly and resize the text box. Change the font style in the right area, such as font color, word effect, word width, etc. To match the overall style of the animation. Adjust the font size to make it more eye-catching. And place it in the middle to accentuate the animation theme. Double-click this element in the timeline. Set its entry effect to 1 gradient. Drag the playhead to see its effect. Add a text box I prepared ahead of time by importing an image. Resize and place it below the previously added text. Set its entry effect to fall and back. Preview the animation effect. 
Add a text box in the blank space of the image. Type text or copy and paste prepared text. Design the font as needed. Continuously adjust it to a style that is in harmony with the animation as a whole. Increase the text size. Drag the text box to the middle of the image. Set the animation effect to text sample animation. Preview the overall effect to see if it meets expectations. Click the green plus sign of the camera or row in the timeline to add a default camera. Drag the newly added camera 1 below the default camera in the canvas. Fine tune the position of the element. Add an image from the folder. Click to resize it and drag it to the appropriate place. Adjust its position in the timeline. Add an element by importing an image. Resize it to the window size and place it appropriately. Set the animation, fade and down for it. It seems that it is better to set it to fade and up. Add one more element to perfect this animation. As before, resize the element and its position. Drag the sliders of the two elements that just added to fine tune their positions for a better presentation. Pull the playhead to the front to see the overall effect of the animation. Find the previously added middle animation effect, eyeball scaling, and right click to copy it. Paste it to the last two added elements as their middle animation. Click, New Scene, and select, Add Blank Scene. Click to add background. Click the green plus sign of the background in the timeline. And you can see there are many options for you to add as the animation background. Upload an image in the folder. The background image will automatically cover the entire canvas. Add an element image in the folder. Click the third button of the element SID bar to adjust it to the window size and place it in the appropriate position. Double click the element in the timeline and set its effect to extend from bottom. Drag the playhead to preview its effect. See if there is a more suitable entrance effect. Seems that this effect works better. Continue to add an element image from the computer. Click to resize it and drag it into place on the canvas. Drag its sliders in the timeline to control when it appears. Adjust the position of the two element images, just add it on the canvas to make room for the elements added later. Click Rolls on the Element Edit bar on the right to add an animation character. Select a roll in the library and choose the body motion, scratch head for it. Adjust the size of the roll and place it appropriately on the canvas.
Double-click the Rolls slider in the timeline to set the entrance effect to fade in. Then drag to lengthen the Roll Motion slider in the timeline. Continue to add an element image from the folder. Drag the element on the canvas to adjust its position. Set its entrance effect to zoom in. Adjust the positions of the elements in the timeline. Add multiple elements by importing several images at once. You can see all the elements stacked together. And we need to resize them and place them properly on the canvas one by one so that they coordinate with the element just added. Then fine tune their sizes. Click and use the shift key to select these five elements in the timeline at one time. And click this icon to modify the entrance effect in batches. Search entrance effect, text amplification bounce, and preview one by one to see which effect is more suitable. Select, bounce in. Drag the sliders for these five elements to adjust their positions in the timeline, so that they appear one after the other instead of all at once. Drag the playhead to see the effect. Continue to adjust the position of the sliders of each element to obtain the desired effect. That's what I expected. Make final adjustments. Select multiple elements at once in the timeline. Click the Align button. Choose, Exit Start Align. Then click to set the exit effect in batches. Select, Fade Out. Add the same role from the library. Select Smile as the role's expression. Lengthen the motion slider in the timeline. Adjust the roll size and its position in the canvas. Double click to change its entrance effect in the timeline and set it to fade in. Add another roll. Select the motion rises for this newly added roll in the pop up window. Lengthen this motion slider in the timeline. Adjust the roll size and position it in an appropriate place on the canvas. Next, click the flip horizontal button. Adjust the size and position of the character again, as well as the slider in the timeline. Import element images from the folder again. Select these three elements in the timeline and resize them in the canvas. Adjust their position in the canvas. Select these three elements in the timeline again and set the entrance effect in batches. Set their entrance effect to expand up.
Control the order in which they appear by continually adjusting the slider's position in the timeline and dragging the playhead to see how they appear. Select multiple elements in the timeline and set their exit effects in batches. Choose Always Display. Click to add text in the text box image previously added. Adjust the size, color, and position of the text. Drag to reposition its entrance slider in the timeline. Continue to add text to the other two text box images in the same way. Fine tune the position of their sliders in the timeline. Pull the playhead to play the animation from the beginning to preview how it will animate. Click Effects and add Background Effects. Select the effect Bubble 2 in the pop up window and import an image. Click Preview Effect to see if it meets expectations. Adjust the position of the background effect slider in the timeline. Extend the length of the slider so that it appears for a specific period of time. Check the animation effect. Click the music icon above the scene thumbnail area. Import the music file prepared in advance. Pull the playhead to play the animation and see the overall effect. Click Scene 1 to play the animation from the beginning. After confirming that there is no problem with the hole, click Publish to publish the video. There are several formats and definitions available for you to publish the video as needed. Confirm your needs and click Publish. Now, the animation video is done.